Hello and welcome back to KSP. We're uh, we're doing doing it today. Um, it's it's a tricky one. Uh, interplanetary travel is different. It's very different. I mean, it's not that different, but if you don't if you don't uh, know what to expect, then it can feel like a, a very large gap between um, you know Moon and Minmus um, to to things like you know um, Eve Duna. So uh, I wanted to do some extra science gathering. So we wanted to go to Duna, collect some more science, so we can finally unlock some of the big, the big pants gear, the the big, the big rockets. You know, the huge rockets. Um, so uh, I I built what I thought was a pretty good rocket. Few problems occur. A uh, few few issues. So, um, creating an intercept with Duna, uh, you know, maybe I'll tutorialize this at some point, but I mean, I am using the window planner mod, so, uh, you know, I'm not maybe, I'm not the, the best person to learn from here, but, you know, if you, if I was going to teach you how to make an intercept with Duna, I'll, the first thing I would tell you is install the window planner mod because it makes things very, very easy. You just set your, uh, origin point, your destination, and then it basically sets an alarm then you can speed warp and like you warp at max speed um, and then it will automatically slow down when the uh, when your alarm is about to go off so it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you now you could achieve basically the same thing by looking up the angle between Kerbin the Sun and the planet you are trying to go to and then eyeball things uh, but that would require you having uh, yet another thing open on your second monitor, you know, and, and that's if you have a second monitor, you can put things on. So better to keep things simple. I prefer it when things are, uh, you, you can figure out things in game rather than having to look up extra resources for things. But, uh, you know, maybe I'm playing the wrong game. Who knows? So uh, once I have uh, waited time, you know, time warped to our window, uh, then we can start figuring out our burn and there's here's me uh, You know trying to line up our approach as good as possible and hey from curb and to Duna We have our intercept. So our window was good um, then we we're doing our burn and uh, You know, it's never gonna be perfect. Your uh, maneuver nodes are never gonna be exact um, so like you can never expect like to get exactly what you want from them like oh hey how come I don't have my intercept I burned exactly you know as long as it, it needed to in the direction and everything went should have gone right yeah it doesn't always work that way in fact it never works that way so you probably have to do some adjustments better to do the adjustments basically halfway there um, you know I know people like to uh, claim that doing interplanetary missions is sort of like hitting a very small object um, you know, on a, or a dartboard from like a bazillion miles away. But I don't agree with that because, uh, that would only be true if your dart had like a bunch of, uh, rockets that could do, uh, correction burns and basically, uh, adjust their angle while they're in flight. So maybe if you had a heat seeking missile and a very warm grape or apple on, on uh, on your on your dartboard, then then it would be a bit more of an accurate uh, metaphor. But anyway, uh, once we have our intercept and we close our our orbit, then things are starting to look a bit uh, similar. You know, there it's it's all the same. Again, we get our science from Duna, and then I'm like, okay, you know what? We got some extra delta v to spare. Let's make an intercept with Ike as well. Ike is the moon orbiting Duna. Uh, lots of extra science to get there too, so let's create an intercept with, Duna, uh, with Ike. And uh, yep, get our science, and everything's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty good, but um, unaware to me, something has gone terribly wrong. Um, this is not unlike a real problem that would ex that would ha occur to like an actual space mission, but it doesn't mean I'm happy to discover it. Um, once I have gotten everything I want, all of the science and everything, and I'm, I'm back trying to, trying to create another orbit around Duna so we can plan our, uh, trip back to Kerbin, which by the way, you have to do another window planner and basically wait like another three years for a good window. You know, thank goodness you don't have to pack sandwiches because that, that's a lot of sandwiches. That's like a whole bunch of extra weight you gotta, 
uh, account for and a lot of, a lot more Delta V. But once I've got everything I want and I've planned my second, my window trip to uh, Kerbin, I begin to understand that something is not quite right. Uh, one of the decouplers, the, the main decoupler that um, decouples our second stage to our last stage, it has not worked. It's, it's, it has failed, actually. It has failed to do its main function task, which is to decouple the two chunks of ship. And so, uh, but for some reason, like, it's failed in our favor. I mean, none of this is in our favor, but for some reason I can still use the engine on our second stage. Um, unfortunately, the engine on the last stage is also functioning. So as I try and make my burn towards Kerbin, um, basically it's using up twice as much fuel and I don't have enough Delta V to make the trip and, and things start to go very awry. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I do as much as I can do to try and uh, change the situation. You know, I load, um, I, I do, I do make saves. You know, things go wrong in Kerbin that are not necessarily uh, on me. So I like to make sure I, I uh, save often, uh, ish. So I, you know, I, I load. I try and, you know, basically it decouple again. Doesn't really work. This is me trying to make this uh, window with curb and work with the fuel I have uh, and you know you can see right around here uh, I realized like it's it's using double the amount of Delta V than it should and you can actually see on the uh, the burn node the the maneuver it, it actually the red eats up the rest of the burn so I don't have enough uh, fuel so I load and I try and make it happen again um, this time Trying again to decouple doesn't really work. Trying again to burn, uh, make our maneuver work doesn't really work. Nothing is working and that's uh, a real shame. So I load uh, eventually, and I'm not sure if it's now or it's coming up. Yeah, I load to a previous save basically before I, um, before I planned my window. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to troubleshoot the situation and can see right here yeah this this little decoupler here not working as intended which is a real shame a real problem for us because um, besides the science that we like I at this point I actually do have a signal with Kerbin and I'm transmitting most of our science which is good we're getting tons of science I got tons and tons of science from this but we have three Kerbals aboard and they are now stranded if I don't get them home so I try my best to, um, you know, this is what I, I love to look at this little maneuver here and just think in my head, space, as I wrap my way around Ike about 13 times and uh, send my scientists out to try and gather as much data as possible because I loaded before I gathered that science. And uh, we basically slingshot our, ourselves into an orbit around the sun. I don't know if that saved us any fuel, but I'd like to think it maybe did. Um, probably didn't. But anyway, uh, once we're orbiting the sun, then I wait for our window and we try and make our Kerbin intercept happen. At this point, I have um, consigned to the fact that the decoupler isn't going to work. So instead, I deactivate the, the uh, last stage engine and just use the second stage engine, hoping that even though we're carrying a lot more mass than we should be, um, that I will have enough Delta V to make an intercept with Kerbin. And I halfway there, I'm hoping also to tweak that intercept just enough so that we could maybe aero break as well. Now that is a tricky maneuver. Uh, and unfortunately the interface with Kerbin or Kerbal is just not good enough to make it happen. I tried so hard, so hard to make that intercept good, but the best I could do was, uh, oh, what is that, 15,000 kilometers or something? Not really it, is it? So um, try and make our maneuver node and burn um, retrograde to, to make an orbit. Yeah, at the very least, if I could have made an orbit around Kerbin, at least I could have saved the curb, the, the, these uh, these brave Kerbals a little bit more easily. 
but it just wasn't in the cards and didn't have enough delta v so i decided okay well first of all let's fix that stupid decoupler and um you know test to see the, if this rocket is actually going to work properly this time this is going to be our interplanetary uh, rocket for future missions right so we want we want it to work properly and yeah it does now seem to work properly our last stage decouples as intended and you know we fixed that problem but why am i doing this now well because i'm going to put a probe on it and basically take all of our pilots or our kerbals off and make this an unmanned rocket and hopefully while the arduna rocket is briefly flying overhead we can send the rocket intercept it and grab our kerbals before they leave and are stranded in the kerbal sphere the, the the sun's orbit and that would be a lot more of an expensive and labor intensive mission to get them back um, so i tried i tried real hard just it just wasn't in the cards unfortunately so i uh, you know I unfortunately watch our kerbals sail overhead as i uh try in vain to 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 kind of make something happen here and it just doesn't work so we'll have to see in the next episode because uh, this isn't done yet um definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy